welcome back again to my channel today we are going to analyze uh, the quality and the precision of several digital elevation models that you can find freely online and we are going to compare those points with um, points taken precisely with the total station we are going to analyze more than 40,000 points taken in Africa in Chad, Ethiopia, Jordan, South Africa, South Sudan and Sudan and we are going to compare the elevation of those points taken with the total station with the point of the digital elevation model we are going to analyze the difference and to develop a simple statistic of the differences this will give us the opportunity to check the quality of the different digital elevation model for this purpose we have uh, the digital elevation model fab dem the link is below the video intermap srtm nasa dem aster g dem and e topo one all those digital elevation models are free available in internet except intermap well, you need a subscription like i've said out of the difference in the elevation we are going to develop a simple statistic we are going to calculate the standard deviation standard deviation can be used as a parameter for accuracy for example if you have a standard deviation like in nasrak of 0.6 meter this means that 68 percent of all your point has a maximum error of plus minus 0.6 meter we check then the double standard deviation this means that 95 percent of all your points have an error or the range of the error of 95 percent of all your points are between plus 1.2 meter and minus 1.2 meter so finally the smaller is your standard deviation the better is the accuracy of your points and the better is of course your digital elevation model now let's have a look at the result after the analysis of those 40,000 points obviously the digital elevation model FABDEM gives a better result we have a standard deviation that is in most of the cases below one meter South Africa has a higher standard deviation but this appears to be in all the digital elevation model I have no idea why following intermap but like I've said intermap is a paid elevation model so we do not really consider it because most of our colleagues are not going to be able to pay for the subscription then we have SRTM and of course BED, Aster GDM and ETOPO so what does it mean? this means that whenever you need a digital elevation model for any type of activity turn analysis or contour lines go and take FAPDEM 1.2 and try to avoid SRTM and the other one even if SRTM and Aster GDM are very practical because you can download them straight away from Global Mapper, from Quantum GIS or from Vectorworks but definitely if you have better value from the total station or the theodolite or specific digital elevation model belonging to a specific country like Switzerland or Italy or Germany so go and use FABDEM 1.2 another way to visualize the quality of the result of the digital elevation model is through this picture in Siena so we have on the ground the correct elevation where the man stays then we have the standard deviation of maximal one meter on the top of the man so our digital elevation model will have this maximal error and then we have SRTM which is on the top of the main gate we have eTOPO we do not even consider using the smartphone or the recreational GPS for the collection of elevation point because the error of those gadget is much more bigger so please avoid doing any type of water supply network with the GPS elevation point or with the smartphone elevation point 
if you need to make a flooding analysis this is a little bit more delicate because in a flat plane even one meter mistakes can make a huge difference therefore if you have no other option so use the fab dam elevation point but any type of result has to be cross-checked on the field with visualization of all the flooding with discussion with the host community or with uh, remote sensing activities you can get the digital elevation model fabdem through the dedicated web page just google fabdem 1.2 or click on the link below the video there you will find all the data set of the tiles at this point you need to choose the right tile either you check your coordinate and you check the right range of the tile or if you don't want to think too much the easy way is to find it through quantum gis i show you it through an example of embera a site in mauritania opening it now in quantum gis in order to find the right tile i download the srtm digital terrain model through the dedicated plugin if you don't have the plugin just install it as usually the system requires at that point the credential but i don't need to log in i just need to check the tiles which appears on the left just write down this tile on a paper and go back on the fabdem web page and find for the right tiles the system requests the tile north 15 and west 6 so nord must be between 10 and 20 and west between 0 and 10 at that point you click on the tile and the download started as you can see tiles are very heavy up to 2 gigabyte therefore you need a rather good internet connection once you have unzipped this huge file inside you will find the right tile i just change or adapt the name of the right tile in order to find it easily and i just import the right tile into my quantum gist through the right command import raster file at this point you have your digital elevation model in your quantum gist and you can start to develop the uh, terrain analysis as usually just uh, as a result or a comparison i would like to show the difference in the contour line developed with the different digital elevation model these are the contour line developed with fabdem these are the contour line developed with the srtm digital elevation model and those are the contour line developed with aster gdm as you can see from the real picture the area is totally flat so there are no hills there are no holes this means that the digital elevation model fabdem gives a much more realistic result compared to the other one so i hope this tutorial was useful thank you for following and see you next time